Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel and welcome to 2019. I hope you've been having a wonderful new year so far. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading for Taurus from the 7th to the 13th of January 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a reading that resonates specifically with you, then please go to my website and book a reading. Uh, the website is jessmud co.uk you can also send me a, a message an email message and i put my uh, email address in the description box and please note that these personal readings are not free i've also put the decks that i'm using in the description box and i put in links to amazon and ebay and these are direct links so if you click on the links you can actually go and buy the decks through the links and uh, don't forget to watch your um 2019 readings for love, uh, work, and general spreads, uh, and it gives you a 12-month spread, so you can see basically what's coming up, an overview, a synopsis of what's going to happen. And um, don't forget to watch my deck review series. Uh, you'll find that interesting. So please like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. I'm going to start off using the answer deck to do the energy read, and then I shall do the general tarot read after that. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so you've got a lot of peace going on around you. So you're going through a period where you're just relaxing and maybe just enjoying uh, your own company or maybe just enjoying some peace and quiet after having a really busy time. Uh, you might be feeling a bit stuck in your situation. You're feeling like, you know, you, you haven't been able to move. So things are a bit of a standstill and you are feeling a bit, um, you know, uh, um, landlocked, if you like, uh, in that particular situation. You might be dealing with a brown-haired woman as well, and that might, you know, she's got her hands raised over here, so, you know, she might be causing some kind of problem preventing you from moving forward, and this is the reason why, you know, you feel like there's a barrier. She might be the barrier itself that's preventing you from, you know, achieving goals that you want. Now, in the past, you've got new beginnings that have happened, and you've been waiting patiently for things to come. Uh, so, uh, you know, you've been sitting and waiting for things to happen. But new beginnings, so there was a new start for you. So going into the future, you've got a surprise coming in. It could be a good surprise, and it might be that you're going to be taking a journey. So you, there might be a short trip or a long trip that you take. Maybe you're going on holiday as well. But there's some kind of surprise that is coming in for you. So those are the energies for that week. Okay, so I'm going to be using uh, the Low Scarabio deck, and this is a, a Rider Weight deck. I've put the details in the description box, and I put in links, so if you click on the links, you can actually go and see it on eBay and uh, um, Amazon. Um, it's a really nice deck. I've used it for all the readings so far, and I've really enjoyed using it. So it's quite an easy deck to read, but it's got some really nice symbology in it uh, that makes... I'm enjoying it, actually. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so uh, you've got the Magician card as the first card. So this is excellent. You know, it's the beginning. It's the number one. So you're manifesting. You're working really hard. Uh, you're focused on that. A lot of mental energy going into whatever you're doing. And you can see this man is really really happy about what he's doing so there's a lot of communications that are going on but also you're enjoying what you're doing although you're very very busy you're multitasking at this particular moment and you're employing all your skills that you have in order to sort these uh, whatever you're doing you might be working according working to deadlines as well uh, but whatever you're thinking about is actually coming to light it's manifesting so you're in that phase right now so make sure you're very positive when you're doing this and you know don't let negativity get you down uh, when you manifest it's good to be positive so what's happening with you you've got the knave of wands over here and it is crossed by the two of cups so there is some kind of message coming in from, uh, you know, there might be a relationship coming in. So you might be forming either a really good, strong business relationship because the two of wands is also carries the caduceus, which is a card, uh, which is the sign for business and uh, commerce. 
but it is also a soulmate card so there could be a love relationship or a soulmate connection now this person is sending you a message from overseas so from not where you are because this card the name of wands is usually a message from distant shores coming to you and they are sending you some kind of message some kind of offer being made to you um, either business offer or it could be a love offer so you could be uh, you know maybe it's internet dating it, you could be meeting somebody over the internet or somebody a long distance or it could be some kind of business um, proposal coming in for you a long distance uh, you know so something coming in for you um, uh, from a far away um, and a message coming in and it's involving some kind of uh, union uh, some kind of um, you know either in a relationship or in a business some kind of partnership so in the past um, year you've been working a lot maybe networking a lot sending out a lot of communications uh, you know interacting with a lot of people um, so this has been very international this kind of um, um, communication that has been going on and in the past three months you've you know let go of uh, difficult situations and you have moved on uh, so whatever has been bothering you whatever situation that has not served you you finally let it go and you have walked away from it so uh, what's in your mind you want your financial independence you want to be able to be you know doing things by yourself and you want that independence to come through for you um you know uh, you um it seems like you know you're working pretty hard at doing it and you're trying to accumulate finance as well so this has been on your mind work has been on your mind now going to the future you've got the judgment card over here so this is making a decision and being called to make a decision and you know maybe resurrect re resurrecting things from the past you are working according to deadlines so you have got to do something you are following your spiritual path and you are maybe going into the past maybe looking at the past and learning looking at the lessons that you've learned from the past this could be somebody also coming um, from the past back into your life so there might be somebody re-entering your life uh, that you used to know in the past uh, it could be a relationship so this relationship could, ship could be a message coming from somebody that you used to know from the past with this judgment card and uh, you know maybe you're uh, going to revive that relationship with this person again so what's happening with you? You are being you're coming across as the Queen of Wands, somebody who is very independent, who is very attractive, somebody who want people want to listen to, uh, you know, who's very dynamic. So this is how you're coming around along, and you're a person who's being able to use their intuition. Uh, you know, so people are quite impressed with you. They're quite attracted to you, and you know they are trying to um, you know uh befriend you if you like so they see you as a light because you've got the sunflowers over here but somebody in control so you're 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 very much in control and you're trusting your intuition and this is how people see you as somebody very dynamic so what's going on around you you've got um the um knave of pentacles so you know you might be needing to do some kind of studying some kind of work you also need to evaluate your finances maybe you're trying to get uh you know some kind of um, balance going on as far as money goes you know making sure your focus is going to be on money there could be some kind of message coming in about money it could be also a message coming in about a new course or a new kind of study that you want to do but definitely focusing on money and uh, you know information about money coming in for you maybe how to do things how to get balance how to take control of your finances that information is going to be coming in for you now you've got the king of cups over here so you might have been dealing with uh, maybe a water sign it could be scorpio pisces or cancer and this person seems to have played um, some kind of big role in it you in your life you've focused a lot on this person so maybe you're you maybe you're worried that they'll come back into your life or maybe you want them to come back into your life but they are exerting some kind of influence in your life so going into the future, you've got the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and you've got the Queen of Swords. So it seems like, you know, you've been dealing with a lot of difficult situations. And, you know, there's been a lot of fighting and you're just managing to keep it together. It seems like, you know, um, you know you're, you're very tired. This is the Wounded Warrior. So you've been dealing with a lot of difficult situations. And, uh, you know, you're very defensive at this particular moment. And maybe battling a lot of people because you've got different swords or different spears over here. And right 
and going you know into the future you're going to be concentrating a lot more on your work and learning a lot along the job but whatever you're doing whatever work you're doing is going to grow it's you know it's going to be slow growth but it's definitely going to grow and produce a lot of abundance and a lot of fruit so whatever you're doing whatever you're learning you're setting down uh, roots and anchors now for the future so it, nothing that you're learning or doing is in vain at this particular moment and it seems like you're standing up for yourself finally you're cutting things out that are not serving you with this queen of swords you can see she's cut out this person and you know you're willing to go it alone the queen of swords tends to be a bit of a lonely person and she does things by herself and she's a law unto herself so that is the stance you're taking right now so you're focusing on your work and you're taking control of the situation and you're severing off anybody's head that comes you know anybody that is giving you any kind of grief you seem to be getting rid of them from your life and you're speaking your truth so you're definitely taking control taking charge maybe you're just fed up of everything that has been going on you can see this this um uh, nine of swords nine of wands this person looks really fed up about what has been going on so you've decided to let go of any kind of drama focus on your work and take control of the situation you're not listening to what anybody's got to say in the future and you're working on your independence this is your goal and this is your aim so i'm just going to draw some cards from the wolf pack tarot and this is the um oracle deck that i will be using So you've got the well over here, which says uh, within yourself is a wealth of information and you know how to draw upon this well within. It will bring newfound talents, skills and strength. So you've got everything that you need, especially with the magician. It tells you that you've got all the skills that you need. You just have to tap into it. So whatever you're doing right now, you, you are well trained up for it. You don't need any further training to do this. You've got all the information and you just know how, have to learn how to manipulate it. And with the magician, it's talking about how to manipulate that skills to get what you want. And then you've got the release card. By holding on to a person from the past, it is not allowing either of you to move on in your life. It is not important why the person is in your life, but why you cannot let him go, but why you cannot let him or her go. It is old baggage, let go, release. So whatever you're thinking about, this person that you've let go of, it's time to actually let go of that person and move on. It is something... As you hang on to their energy, you are preventing them from moving forward. But you, most importantly, you're preventing yourself from moving forward. So it is time to say goodbye uh, to the past. And the last card is the waste card. You cannot afford to create waste in your life. Take nothing for granted because you can experience sudden famine due to carelessness. So you need to make sure that you are, uh, you know, being very careful with your resources don't spend extravagantly, don't buy things that you don't really need and make sure that you have everything in order and everything sorted out. So make sure you're watching what you're doing with your money and your resources so if you end up in a time of crisis, you have something to fall back on. So basically the message is that you have all the skills that you need to succeed. You need to let go of that past and let go of that person, even let go of the thought of that person and just make sure that you're very careful with your resources. So um, I hope that this reading has resonated with you. It seems like somebody is going to be coming in from the past. Uh, you know, you might be uh, reuniting with somebody from the past and it might end up being a soulmate connection. You might receive a message from them. But also it seems like, you know, you decided that you're going to focus mostly on your work, let go of things that are not serving you, cut them out of your life. I mean, literally cut them out of your life and you're tired of all the fighting and problems that you've been uh, experiencing. You seem to want to focus more on yourself and, uh, you know, taking control of your life. And you are in a phase of manifestation right now. So make sure uh, that you're thinking positively and considering all the options and using all your skills to manifest what you need. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.